What's up, guys? It's Stoneface Ether777, and I'm here again. I send out love to all my subscribers and all my supporters, and I thank you all for following along on this Stoneface journey, you know? And I really appreciate you guys and everything that you guys do. So, I have right here a fat joint of marijuana, right? The strain that I'm going to be smoking today is by Hotbox, and it's called Kush Cream, right? That's what we're smoking on today. Guys, without further ado... I got to get into the sound bowl. You guys know this, right? Cool. Breathe. So, yeah, without further ado, let's fire this J up and get this conversation going. And I hope everyone out there is doing great. Holidays just passed. Uh, Merry Christmas to you all. Merry late Christmas. <laughs> I was supposed to drop a vlog video yesterday on christmas I was spending time with the family so didn't get the chance to however i hoped everyone enjoyed their christmas the best gift i'd say is to be grateful that we're able to be alive and breathing in the present you know, the present moment is a gift. I want to show you guys what I used to take care of myself. So I just picked this one up, but this one is like a citrus type of. Shampoo, body wash, it could be used for dishes, things of that such, but you have to dilute it with water. Dr. Broner's is the best organic brand that you could ever get. Right? Also, this is the organic hand and body lotion that I got by Dr. Broner's, right? Smells like mandarins, really good. I like to stay fresh and stay <laughs> smelling good. It's a must, but you can't be smelling like must. Get me? <laughs> This is what I use to hydrate my hair. I have locks, so it requires a different type of care than when I, you know, had curls in my head. And this hydrates it, but not only that, it cleanses it spiritually because it has frankincense and sage in it. And frankincense and sage is known to cleanse any negative or stagnant energies that you know, maybe <coughs> interlocked into my locks. You get me? So, yeah, those are what I use. I used to use this lotion by Jack Black. It smells like 
eucalyptus. Yeah, eucalyptus and aloe is in it. And I don't really like it. And it doesn't really last that long. And it leaves like an after itch kind of. So I kind of just had it in my closet, you know. Don't really use it like that. So, however, this right here, not a voyage cologne. Oh, you're in the game if you're using this. If you know, you know. That one smells like cool water, right? It smells like if you were fishing and you're smelling good and you just caught a big ass bass fish, right? And you smell the smell of victory. That's what that fucking smells like. Guys, always stay smelling fresh. You don't want to be labeled as the stinky boy. Must bucket. Or anything like that, you know? <laughs> Nobody wants to be labeled as anything outside of who they are, right? Now, guys. <coughs> I wanted to spice this video up. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take some fucking mushrooms on camera right now, right here. <coughs> and I want to get the reaction a little later and throw it in this video. Here's the mushrooms if you think I'm kidding. Right? Not kidding. <coughs> Sharpens my mind. I can get into the ice cream thing. We'll just take one for mama. It reduces depression and stress. Helps me see the bigger picture. Helps me see what I need to pay more attention to. Right? So that's what comes with. You know, taking psilocybin cubensis mushrooms. Also, I'm able to have more cognitive function. I'm able to think more clearly and more quicker, you know? As opposed to when I used to, you know, think a lot slower not take my time when I'm expressing myself or getting my points across, you know? So it just helps open up new neural pathways within your brain. That's what I look at it as, you know? But many different people have their own opinions and perceptions on it. And yeah. <coughs> I'm cool with anyone's opinion or perception on anything, but I know that I'm firm in my own beliefs and perceptions. So, yeah. And that's a little bit about me. But without further ado, let's take these mushrooms. And yeah, that kind of rhyme too. I'll be having bars sometimes. And a lot of times I don't be knowing. And actually, I'm going to be posting some of my raps on my YouTube account. So I want you guys to stay tuned for that too. You know, but here we go. Here's the mushrooms. That's it. 
there's really no limit to how much you can take, but I'm going to leave that much in there because I've taken enough already. So, yeah. Now, I just wait. What's up, guys? We're back. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to feel the full effects of the psilocybin cubensis mushrooms. However, I believe that it may be because the batch that I currently have is a batch that I've had for quite some time. So maybe a fresh batch will do, or it could be that I have been taking it on a frequent Perfect. basis. So, you know, more in quantity of psilocybin cubensis mushrooms. So I really look forward to next time, you know, having a more fuller effect to where I can show you guys the reaction of my mushroom trip experience, right? So in the meantime, I'm not really tripping because I'm going to be trying these. So I look forward to that. 10 milligrams THC uh, watermelon flavored. And I usually don't get edibles, but I just thought, hey, why not try something different for once in a while? So that's what I'm going to do. But I love you guys.